Let's now move on to section D. This is now where we start seeing the full page display. And this is where it's going to get really exciting. This is the one that gets me the most excited. All right, so let me read it out loud first. Learn how to use display widgets to display more relevant content in the sidebar of your archives. I'll call these concierge archives. I don't think I'm even spelling that word right. But anyhow, of your concierge archives, make these the subcategories in your main parent category sidebars. Here's what I mean by that. Remember how I was saying, here's our main seller category? Well, how the heck are they going to be able to cite, you know, filter through the main content of your subcategories right off the bat? That's going to be hard, right? Well, and I talked about you need to use your sidebars for that. Here's what I mean by that. Let's go into your admin panel. Go to your widgets. You have these tools built in into your site that do this perfectly. So see here where it says appearance? You click on widgets. And what we're going to do is we're going to tell, we're basically doing this in a nutshell. We're telling the main sellers page to display in the sidebar the latest categories for all of the subcategories belonging to it. So I hope that makes sense. So let me rewind and make full sense of this. So we have sellers, right? And then this is the main parent category. And below that, we have these three child categories, right? Well, what we want to do is on this home page, we want to tell the visitors of this home page that here's the latest postings having to do with this topic, the latest postings having to do with this topic, and then latest postings with this topic. And we're going to display them here as, as organized widgets. So when they land here, they're going to see these organized widgets by topic along with your concierge information as long as, and as well as the latest postings. So this is a perfect organized seller's concierge page. Now let's show you what I mean. In your widgets, and by the way, again, just like everything else, I have video tutorials that explain to you exactly how widgets work, what your sidebars are, and what all these single widgets are. For now, I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to focus on just the one or just the one that you need to be using for these. All right, and it's the following. Okay, the widget you're looking for is named here Category Post. And here's the thing. On uh, many of your sites, you may or may not have this one just yet. So if you do not have this widget as you're watching this tutorial in your admin panel, email me at training at tizish.com right now so we can install it on your site. So anyhow, do the following. You're going to take this category post, put it into your sidebar, and this is one example right now. I'm going to use the seller category as the main example for this alright so here's the whole point what we're gonna do is the following title leave it blank for now but here's what this cat here's what this thing is doing just to show you what this widget is doing what this widgets gonna do is it's gonna choose whatever category we want so remember what we're trying to achieve here let's go to our seller category real quick what we're trying to achieve here is the following we're trying to make the seller category and don't look at this yet. We're trying to make the seller category become the concierge of information by displaying even the subcategories that we want in our sidebar. So here's how we're doing that. We're using this tool. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to we need to tell this widget to display only blog postings from the category we want. So we want under sellers, not sellers, because we want the subcategories here. How we market your home for sale. Number of posts. Let's say we want to show a maximum of five. You could do whatever maximum. Try not to go more than maximum eight, but basically five is the ideal maximum. Eight max, all right? And then now always click make widget title link because we want the title to link to the category. And then um, I'll, I'll show you these, but it's kind of iffy if you want to use these, but I'll show you in a second. But basically after you choose widget title, you choose five, you choose your category, and you place it at the very top. That's the key thing, at the very top of sidebar one, we now need to tell the widget to only show up on the category we want. Okay, which means, here, let me show you the default wrong functionality. You see, if I click save, here's what happens. Let's go to our home page and look here in the sidebar. You see how it shows up here on the home page? We don't want that because this isn't focused information. Same thing if I click on the buyer's category, which has nothing to do with how we market your home. See how it still shows up? So, what, what we want to do is make this category only show up. On the sellers on the sellers page so if this is the sellers page here that's loading up right now 
here's the sellers page what we want is this category to only show up on this sellers page not on the inner pages not anywhere else so here's what you have to do in the widget section at the end of the widget it asks you show slash hide widget we're gonna click the drop down we're gonna put show on check and what we're gonna do is find not the page remember see here how it says page we're not finding the page we're finding the category called sellers and there's sellers so now I click save and then I'm gonna do the same for the rest of the subcategories I minus that down I'm taking category posts I'm putting it in here because I'm gonna do it for all the subcategories Let's just do two really quick ones. So now we already did we did how how we market for sale. Now let's do price trends, number of posts. Let's just say five maximum. Make widget a title. We're gonna show on show on checked, and we're gonna do sellers because this we want it to be on the main parent page. Now we click save. Now we're gonna do this last one for the other category. The last category called how to price your home because this is the subcategory all right now we're gonna click five here make widget title link show on check I'm gonna scroll down to sellers and I know I'm going fast on this again I have a video tutorial separately on this exact same function if this isn't making sense so now I click save and now I've done the following now let's go to our seller page here's how it looked with one category now I'm gonna refresh the page And notice now the sellers page is filled up with seller focused content. This is what you call a concierge of information page. This is a perfect example of it. And now this is the end goal of what we've been trying to get to this whole time. We still have other steps, but the whole idea of the principle and the purpose, this is it. I click on the sellers page. I come here. I see a concierge of good information telling me what this page is all about, what I could do. I look on the right side. I'm seeing the subcategories showing me the latest postings in a better so in a better structure so while this is showing me the latest postings in general meaning here's the latest postings having to do with anything having to do with sellers in the right sidebar these are showing me the latest postings having to do with each individual uh, subcategory so to me as a as a as a seller visiting this page I'm like I'm excited because this is perfectly organized and structured for me to read especially when this information the introduction content serves as a concierge so then now that you see the big picture, this concierge of content should tell me as a seller, what is this page all about? What are these items here? What are these items here? And it needs to tell me how to use it. So if, so here's the example. So if you're looking to see how we could get your home sold, what you need to do is check out our how we market homes for sale section. You can find that in the right sidebar and this is this section here. And then you tell them if you're looking to find out general price trends in the neighborhood or if you're looking to find out where is the market going because you're thinking of selling in the next six months plus check out our price trends in the neighborhood section of our site or if you're looking to sell your home today and want to know what it takes to get the home sold click on how to price your home and then this is the, that's what this content should be saying in some kind of context and then now this just shows the latest postings whatever you can make that clear as well but now let's go one step further now let's say I'm like a seller I'm like okay great I'm actually curious to see um, to see how how to price your home so I notice this here so I click on this category how to price home or maybe individual blog topic and now when I'm here I'm seeing good information all about how to price homes and then I'm, sorry, I'm seeing a good concierge about it and then when I scroll down I'm seeing good information that speaks to me about pricing homes so let's say I click on this one know your upgraded kitchen doesn't make your home worth 50,000 more and I click on it and now I see this information here I'm like oh wow that's pretty interesting well, remember how last time we had the contact form? You would you would want to have the contact form here. Now, or let's just rewind and let's just say we look at another one, the number one mistake sellers make, or how to properly price your home packet. So let's say I click on that one. The real way it would function would be in terms of lead capture. I click on this one and I find this interesting, and I'm like, wow, this is great news. And then notice I have my lead capture content here. So that's perfect. And now here's another thing to keep in mind to just to reinforce this fact. Notice the following. This is a great part about this tool that you don't have to do. You see here on the right hand side how it shows me the other, uh, ca the other categories automatically on the blog post. Well that keeps me organized. So let's say I like this blog post. I'm like oh how to properly price your home. I read it but I'm like no nah, I'm not really interested. I'd rather see others. I can either hit back on my browser or simply I see the most recent one here. Okay let's see how the number one seller 
let's see the known one mistake sellers make. And then I go here, and I'm like, oh, this is interesting. And now let's say at this point I like the content, and now I'm like, okay, you know what? I do want a free home value report. Now I'm going to fill it out, you know, and do all that stuff. So this is such a better form of lead capture and lead and organizing your pages and sites. All right. So let's rewind though now to one other item. Let's go to our actual category page. Notice the sidebar widgets. They show up for each individual article, and that's specific. Okay. That's very precise, and that ca that function is not going to change. This is meant to show up on your individual archive uh, blog posting, so that then when they're on these pages, they don't get lost. Because a lot of people may not hit back, or whatever the case is. Or you want them to also see your other categories. But let's say I click on a subcategory like price trends in the neighborhood, right? So notice though that the widgets are gone. So what you need to do is the following. Let's open this back up. See right here, make the make these the subcategories in your main, and uh, basically we make them in, a sub, in our when our we use the display widgets like what we're doing right now to display the latest postings. Well, what we want to do now as well though is we did that for our parent category, we did that for sellers. So we were here on sellers. Let me refresh this one. This is the old one. We were here on sellers, and we did it for the sellers page. But now what we want to do is individually for each of the archive pages here. All right, so because when I click on how we market your home for sale, I want to know that the main parent was sellers, and I want to see what other subcategories are related to this. So what you got to do is the same thing we just did right now, and this might be tedious, but it's it's worth it at the end, so you can see the whole puzzle. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do the complete thing for the sellers category right now, so you can have one full example. Okay, so what I've done now, I just now hit pause. So if the continue the continuation of this video just seems like a quick abrupt change, understand that I just now hit pause and here's what I did just to make the video flow faster because it's already going very long. Okay, so here's what I just now did. What we were doing, just to recap, is basically taking the sellers, this is your basic sellers concierge page. Now that we use these widgets to put in three, you know, to put in the latest postings into our landing sellers page. Right? Well, we have we see them here. There's gonna be a good concierge for telling you what this section's about. It shows the latest postings from your subcategories in your sidebar. But the question was now, what about when they click on a subcategory? What's gonna show up in the sidebar? Here's what you need to have shown up on the sidebar. When someone clicks on a on a cat subcategory, let's say, or let's say if someone finds one of your subcategories through the search engines, what you should have is simply the following: one widget that does this. Go back to seller's page or whatever your main parent category is. So you see here how it says go back to seller's page, but at least this content is going to be focused on how we market your homes for sale. It's not going to show latest widgets for the other subcategories because that would then become irrelevant. Here's the reason why. Let's now go back to the example of the concierge at a hotel where you ask for restaurants, let's say, right? If this was the menu, if this was the, the examples of all the Italian restaurants you have, you wouldn't really want to see on the side of your menu all the different ones from the Russian places, the French places. You know, the, and like the Persian places, you wouldn't want to see a menu for all those. You don't care, but maybe you'd want to see a menu that says, "Look at all other restaurants." You know, something that takes you back to the main source. So that's the whole idea of having only one widget for your inner subcategories, be the one that takes you back to your sellers page. So, like, see here, if I click on "Go back to sellers page," and I'll show you how to do that shortly. And I'm going to recap all this again in a faster way, just to recap the main nuggets, because I know this can get confusing. So here we are again. Here is a sellers page. Now let's say I go to another category, price trends in the neighborhood. What we're going to see is the same thing across the top. Okay, so what we see on this same page is the same thing. We have now we are in our when our concierge page for the price trends in the neighborhood. This content's all about laser focused content on this price trends. We have our blog postings laser focused on this topic of price trends, but in our right sidebar, we have the, the the widget that takes us back to our main parent page. So again, go back to sellers page. Now just to show you fully the last the last uh, category. So we see here how to price your home. So I click on this one, and now we're going to see the exact same thing. Now we'd expect a concierge of information totally focused on how to price your home, and then we have the latest postings having to do with pricing home, and then in the sidebar we have the go back to your sellers page. Uh, button that just shows the latest postings in general from the sellers page. Now, here's another reason why this is good. Here's another functional item on how it operates. Let's say you, someone clicks on an individual article having to do with the price trends or having, having to do with how to price your home. So I click on 
no, your upgraded kitchen doesn't make that isn't worth that much. Well, now in the sidebar, it's going to show me to go back to the main parent page of this topic because maybe here's another thing you got to think about. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe they found this article through the search engine, so they don't enter your website through the main parent page, or maybe they found it through a social media, so they don't ever enter. They found found this article to get introduced to your site, and they don't come through the main parent page. So, or even a child page, the sub, the sub, any of the concierge pages. So the whole idea is your blog postings now on the right sidebar will automatically show the categories that this belongs to in the right side. So you see here, it shows it shows the categories that this belongs to or that it, this is related to. This is related to the sellers category. So you can go back to sellers page and it shows the categories that are also related to this section. So very content focused with its marketing. That's the whole idea. All right, and especially when you have the contact form, let's go to one that has a good contact form. So let's say I clicked on the how to properly price your home packet, right? Let's say, just say I found this through social media or whatever the case is. I come here and I see, oh wow, this is good information, or I see I have your contact form. Well, on the right side, I now have all the good laser focused information having to do with this blog topic. Go back to seller's page, or we could see the other items, how we market, price trends, how to price your home. It's going to do this for all your subcategories. All right, you got to keep that in mind. So any of your blog postings will now display in the right sidebar the latest postings that are related to that one by category. So this is in the category how to price your home, and since it's in the category called sellers, we see all of them here in the sidebar. All right. So that's pretty much uh, everything for this function. Let me just explain it one more time from start to finish on how to do this. Okay. This this will be clear. So here's what you want to do. I'm gonna take these take these sidebars out, or I'm gonna take these widgets out, and I'm gonna do it really fast, and I'm gonna explain it really fast because I feel explaining it one more time is necessary because it it gets com confusing. All right. So now that we have the general principles, I could do a fast version of this. All right. So let's just go back to the sellers page for now, and here was our default sellers concierge page. Page. And while this is gr a great page because it now it's way more focused in a static page and it has our and it has our static content here, our concierge content, and it shows us the latest postings of all the categories or subcategories having to do with this with the seller's uh, topic. There's what was one problem missing. Remember how the heck do we organize these items to at least show them the different subtopics we have? You can manually type them here. But then you also want to just make it quick and easy for them to filter. So the solution were the widgets. So here's how we did the widgets. We go to your widgets menu. You're going to take one widget for each of your subcategories. All right. So we have three subcategories in the seller category, right? So let me. I'll just. I'll show you a full example just to make a full, complete, clean review. Under our sellers, we have. Three subcategories: one, two, and three. And we want all of. We want to display the widgets, the most recent posts from all of them. So what we did was, in widgets, we took one of those, we opened it up, we take another. So that's two. Since we have three widgets, we're gonna or three subcategories, we're gonna do three of these. And now we do three. And there we go. And now, after we did three of them, all we're going to do is choose the three subcategories. So what are our three subcategories? How to, how to price homes, how to price your home, how do we market your home, and price trends in the neighborhood. So what we're going to do is choose one called how we market your home, choose the number of categories, choose the number of categories to be five or eight, nothing max, nothing more than that, make widget link a text. And then we're going to show, because we wanted to make this widget only show up, remember, on the seller's category, on the seller's concierge page. So since we only want it showing up here, what we got to do with the widget tool is after we choose what category, the subcategories, we choose show on checked, and we choose sellers. We scroll down, we find sellers. It's in alphabetical order. And it tells you categories. So we chose sellers, and now we go to our next categories. Very quickly, we go to price trends in the neighborhood we're gonna do five we want to show five latest postings make widget title link we're gonna show unchecked which means we're gonna show this only on our sellers category there and now we're saving it and we're doing our last subcategory which was the how to price your home and we're gonna choose five blog postings make the widget title link show unchecked and we're gonna find sellers 
and now this is now after this we're about more than halfway done so now they're all saved so now our sellers page when I hit refresh it's gonna become even a better concierge page by showing me the latest postings in the sidebar alright and on top of that every individual article I click on let's say I click on any any individual article it's gonna also show me all the categories related to this topic of sellers that this is related to so you keep them filtering in and the reason why this is important is because you're gonna get a lot of traffic from social media or from search engines that find your specific pages not just your main parent or, or sub child category concierge pages alright so this works to get them filtered back to your concierge pages but one thing's missing remember and this is the last step if I click on a on a sub subcategory that's a concierge now I don't know let's say I find this page from social media or from somewhere else while this is great targeted information and this shows me the laser focused content having to do with this uh, concierge topic what's missing is the relationship to the main parent page so what we gotta do is go back into our widgets and now remember if we just did the widgets for these three subcategories we now have to tell these three subcategories to put in their sidebars their sidebars here a link to their main parent category so here's what we have to do we go back to our widgets we're gonna scroll to the very top of this time now we're gonna move this to the side or I'll move it to the side for you to see I'm gonna take the cat the same widget and I'm gonna put this move it to the top here and now once it's put in place I'm gonna put the title I like to make the title say go back to and then whatever the category's name is this is the sellers category right and I like I like to make it do that and then after that I on top of that actually I'm including a link for you called HTML HTML characters I like to put a little arrow here so people get the impression that you should click on this link to go back here's what I mean I'm gonna give you this link and there's a HTML code in this link go down to the section that's called arrows and you'll find the little arrows left arrow don't take this one take the HTML code here I'm gonna copy that go back to my widgets and now I'm gonna paste that little code right before the word go and hit space so now on the widget itself once I save it we're gonna see a nice arrow that gives me the impression of going back so anyhow so here's the key thing though now what we're trying to do just to refresh your memory is we're trying to make the sellers category we're trying to make a widget here that says go back to sellers uh, sellers page you know so that basically they know that this is just a sub page so what we're doing is we now have to choose the category that we want to display we want to display the sellers category number of posts we want to show five let's say make the widget link title so when they click on this they go back to the sellers and now though when we put show on check we're going to select multiple categories because we want to show this widget on all of the sub categories here so we're going to choose how to price your home how we market your home and price trends so we got to find those categories how to price your home how we market market your home and then price trends in the neighborhood and we're showing this widget on all three of those categories so I click on save and once it's all saved now we'll see here here's our pages now and now this is the, it's pretty much done now we just finished fully setting up our concierge pages now we see here see how it looks so much better now with the with the arrow so if let's say I landed on this page through social media well the fact that I land on this page maybe I'm like hey I'm not really interested in how you market for sale or something like that so I see go back to sellers category so I could click on this link and that takes me back to the sellers category now and now I'm here in the nice concierge page perfectly focused with the with the categories on the right and the blog postings here so here's how the lead capture will work now that you see the full final picture here's how lead capture works let's say I'm some kind of seller I see wow this is great information I like this and then I'm like, I notice the, I have these categories here. I'm like, oh, I like price. I'm curious to see about price trends in the neighborhood. Then I click on price trends in the neighborhood. And then now on the right side, I'm not lost in your navigation. I still know that I could hit back right here to go back to this main seller's concierge. But here, what I'm looking at now is laser-focused information, very nicely organized, having to do with price trends in the neighborhood. So let's say if I'm like, oh, none of this appeals to me. Well, I know that I could go back to the seller's category here or hit the back button on my browser but at least this shows me here so now let's just say I'm like okay I I like the um, uh, nothing none of this appeals to me let's go back to our sellers category let me show you one example of 
of this, uh, uh, where was it, on the how to price your home. So now let's just say we go to price your home, and let's say I see the topics here, I immediately see, oh, how to properly price your home packet. Well, now I'm here on this page, and now I'm on an individual blog posting, but the thing is, I now have my lead capture point here, and I'm also, which is most important, I'm not lost. So let's just say if, if I'm not gonna, if I'm like, this doesn't appeal to me, I don't really, I'm not gonna really enter a lead information here, at least, you're going to reduce the bounce rate of your visitors because they see where they should be going then. They should go back to the sellers category or go back to the other sub-child category, concierge pages or individual blog postings. So this kind of structure is the most powerful structure that you should have for your site because it's going to keep people navigating through your site in a structured and organized way. All right. Now let's go back to our list now and let's see the next points.